Welcome to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. Well, today I'm just I'm just on a on a local farm. Uh, if you uh, have seen one of my previous episodes, the ectochrome episode, um, I was lucky enough to get onto um, a, far, a local farm here. The lady uh, Yvonne Jolly. Hi, Yvonne. Thanks for letting me into your property today. Um, Yvonne, uh, the family farm um, has got a, a slaughterhouse on it, uh, which is the structure I'm in at the moment. And um, I, I've been talking to Yvonne's um, family members, or one of the family members previously, and she'd said to me to come down and photograph this, and it's been kind of like a year and a half in the making really, trying to get down here and actually shoot it, um, find it first and then to take photographs of it. So I'm here today to do that, and uh, really glad I came actually, because it's just quite a, quite a unique looking building. So I'm going to just try and shoot some black and white here, I might get a digital camera out and uh, take a couple of shots of my digital camera, but uh, primarily I'll do some black and white shots first of all, and uh, hopefully that'll come out pretty cool. So let's get into it. fascinated with this pile of bricks, which were what I thought was a pile of bricks in the paddock here. Yeah. But it looks like an old chimney, so I would imagine that this would have been the old farmhouse. Maybe. I don't know, I'm just surmising. Piecing this together. Um, so if that's the case, it would have been the farmhouse here, we would have had the slaughterhouse over here. The slaughterhouse is cool, the, the colours on it are quite... Light's changing now, it's still morning, so it's still got some kind of nice, nice light. I'm going to take some pictures of these bricks. The um, going to go up and do, um, or oh, I think it's a chimney, an old chimney. I'm going to go up and take some pictures of that. There's a nice background there, nice, uh, nice landscape shot there. I think so. I'm going to take it. Finding this a useful exercise, it's not something I do a lot. I, you know, um, I'm kind of using my digital camera to kind of like just just play around with a shot, and then um, you know, I'm going to shoot the scene also with my my film camera. I guess really what I want to try and do is just explain the thoughts um, process you go through or I go through um, for whatever it's worth. Um, you know I'm just walking around the slaughterhouse here and I've just noticed something small like these two, um, I guess they're like pulley reels that are sitting above the, um, this would have been the old chute that um, the cattle would have gone through just here. And there's a couple of pulley wheels just up there on the side of the building, and it just it just caught my eye. Um, don't ask me why, but it just caught my eye. And um, when I, when that happens, I, I I just try and follow that. You know, I try and follow that instinct that 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 something looks interesting about that. So um, I'm just kind of investigating this now, and I've just taken a couple of pictures with the the Mami R. Um, and, and what I like here really is that, you know, we, you know, the initial thing that attracted me to the picture was the pulley, the pulley wheels on the side of the building. Um, we've also got the, um, the weather boards there. And what's cool here is, is that um, because the roof section um, and the section of the building has got, the roof is basically gone here. And then I've got the light coming through the weather boards. So, I've just got, you know, so just, you know, the first thing is really the instinctual thing of seeing something that interests you. Second thing is to pick up your camera 
and then frame it with your camera. Um, this is what I do. Um, you know, I've got an idea already, and then when I frame it with my camera, I look through the lens. Something else starts to happen, um, and it, it really, for me, starts to, the dynamics um, kind of like get stronger. Um, they might change, but in this case, um, you know, it's just the whole the whole picture here with the with the kind of the silhouette, the light coming through the the um, the, the weather boards, the different patterns here. Um, it's framed up quite nicely. Um, whether or not that will come through in the picture, the final picture, I don't know. But I, again, I have a good feeling about that. So it's, um, I think it will. Maybe it won't. But you know, um, that's my process really. Just going through that initial urge or the, um, I see something interesting, and just following it, following it up. Might try and get a bit closer up there um, without doing myself too much damage. I climb on this wall I could fall off but I might get a bit closer to the um, to this the, those two pulley wheels and uh, see if I can get something a bit more kind of detailed how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder I hope you enjoyed that. That was um, kind of cool. I really enjoyed just shooting both mediums, both digital and um, film today. It was just a nice balance and what I particularly enjoyed about it was just being able to just, just investigate the shot with a digital camera and then probably even more so just framing up with my film camera, my Mamiya. I love that camera and um, you know just looking through a different lens. Um, as soon as I put that Mamiya out of my, 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 my eye, um, you know, it was just gold and I think that's because you know looking through an EVF which is um, what I was doing with that uh, EM5 Mark II uh, and then looking through the lens directly through a lens it's a different experience so I really enjoyed it recommend it if you haven't kind of dual shot before do it no crime in it I better go before it starts raining uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so uh, subscribe button below check out my social media links uh, links below for that go and follow me on Instagram if you want to buy a print please go and buy a print um, it supports my channel a uh, few options there go to my website I'll put a link directly below uh, for my um, for my print page on my website go and check that out and if you could buy a print I'd really appreciate it it supports me and uh, keeps the channel kind of um, going it keeps me and my family fed um, that's all for this week uh, please take care I'm gonna get in from the rain because it's coming in now Hari Ra from New Zealand, goodbye. See you again soon. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I 
what wonders.